Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog, and Comic-Con is just days away, literally just days away, and on Friday, July 20th, we are expecting a new trailer for Venom. I have a lot of people commenting in my videos going, so new trailer, new trailer tomorrow, new trailer on Monday, new trailer Tuesday? It's like, no. New trailer, most likely on Friday. Not 100% confirmed, but come on. Sony has a, a panel in Hall H on Friday night at Comic-Con and no other Marvel projects are gonna be there other than the ones that Sony are bringing to Hall H. So we have, or as far as movies go, so we have Into the Spider-Verse is gonna be half of their panel and Venom will be the other half of the panel. And they have an exclusive signing on Friday morning, I believe. Uh, so those of you who are attending, I think you had to go online on the San Diego website like before last week, before the 11th or 12th, and you had to sign in and put that you were interested in going to this Venom signing. And only then it, you were thrown into a raffle and then you got an email probably on Sunday night or Monday morning uh, letting you know if you are eligible to go and be, you know, be worthy enough to stand in line. Uh, and that's kind of how they're doing lines at Comic-Con now is that once you get your badge, you go onto their board and you tell them which signings and events you want to go to the ones that are mostly free or the ones that are like paying for exclusives and they let you know before you even go to the convention whether you're you know allowed to go stand in line or not so that's how they're going to do it this year and i don't know if they did that last year or not i wasn't there last year um and you know i won't be this year obviously so uh, i don't know how it's going to go down there uh, comic-con i think you know it kind of outgrew me a little bit but i would definitely like to go back at some point and uh, hopefully in the next coming years you know i'll get down there again uh, but today I have some cool news for you because I am a Lego employee and I am very much, you know, head over heels for Lego. Uh, they are something that I used during rehabilitation after my, you know, aneurysm and they're a toy that I've kind of really grown to love. It was something I kind of liked before and I was like a casual Lego builder, especially the Batman stuff when the first Lego Batman series came out based on the video game. I was like, all right, cool. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get into these uh, because I saw Two-Face in there and some of my favorite villains, but then I kind of fell away from it and then I got sick and then afterwards I started, you know, getting Lego again and that's kind of helped me through some of those uh, you know adjustment periods of when I was you know you know using hand-eye coordination using comprehension skills things like that and they helped out big time and so because of that I always sought out uh, you know to work somehow for Lego and now I do and it's very awesome I get to do that and then after two years working there I have been promoted uh, to a supervisor position which is really great and it's my pleasure to let you guys know today that there is a Venom Lego set coming out this fall on December 1st of this year it'll be sold in Lego stores or wherever you buy Legos at, you know at Target's Walmart's or you can go to the Lego website the shop at home website which is shop.lego.com and I know it sounds like I'm just plugging where I work but I'm very excited for this because Venom is one of those characters that we've done a Venom figure before at Lego. They've done Carnage as well, and it's sometimes hard to get those characters and get a chance to do them. So uh, we have another Venom set, and I have a picture here. This is from io9 is where I got this. Andrew Luzinski is the one who you know posted this article, and I'll put a link down below. And I'll also put a link to Brick Brothers just because I think the image I got that you're seeing here might have actually come from them. I think they had a higher res image. So I'm gonna have the image on screen here, and you can see what we're getting is a Spider-Man mech uh, that's the first build in it, and then you get this giant Venom mech robot, which really doesn't even look like a mech at all. It looks like a giant Venom monster, and that's pretty much what I'm going to use it as when I get my set and uh, and build it. And I will definitely make a video for you guys uh, when this comes out. I will for 100% will make a building video for it, and then we'll do like a discussion video, and then I'll do a video where I show it off a, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there, these are the pictures. So you have the spider mech, you have the giant Venom mech, which just looks awesome. It's so cool looking, uh, and this is is a 604 piece set for $50, which is a really good deal because normally Lego likes to get in the ballpark of 10 cents a piece. So normally something like this, if it's 600 pieces, the goal is to get it around $60. So it's cool that it's going to be even less than that at $50. So you're getting a little bit more value, a little bit more bang for your buck. And you're getting four really interesting minifigures. You get Spider-Man and he has a new print on him, a new design, which a lot of you non-Lego fans might not think that's a big deal, but it is because we've had the same Spider-Man design for a while. So it's cool to see this slightly new design and with the red boots it's really cool um, then also we get a venom minifigure as you can see here and he pilots his giant mech that you know to battle spider-man's and then we also get spider gwen also known as ghost spider i guess in this series and Aunt May. And obviously we've never had Spider-Gwen before and Aunt May we had in the big bridge set that came out like a couple years ago. And then before that we hadn't had her in years in Lego form. So this is really cool that we get another chance to get Aunt May if you haven't already got it, uh, an Aunt May figure. And uh, as you can see, she's trying to offer ice cream to you know break up this fight. <laughs> it's very Lego-y, a lot of you know humor used in it. Um, 
And uh, and so, yeah, so she's coming in with the ice cream cone. They must be fighting on a very hot summer day. Um, and then you get all these cool, like, web accessories so that Spider-Man and Venom, you know, can battle each other. And you can take the little Venom minifigure out of the robot, as you can see. And then same with Spider-Man. You can take him out of his robot and have them battle in their real forms as well. But I kind of like this, and I, I, I wouldn't even mind using that giant Venom as, like, a Lee Price version of Venom, like when he became the monster form of Venom at the end of the Venom Inc., that's even a cool version to use for, you know, that kind of play uh, if you want to. And you could just have Spider-Man and Venom be regular size and then this giant, you know, Venom creature form. And then Spider-Man has to, you know, get into like a, you know, Tony Stark built mech or something, uh, which would be pretty cool. Or maybe the Spider-Mobile is a transformer and turns into this giant mech. But I, I don't know. I like making up stories with my toys, obviously. And this one just looks really cool. And I love that we're getting a giant Venom. So when I put it on my shelf back there, you guys will actually see it. It'll be prominent, the big giant Venom mech. And I promise you I will build it and pop it right back there for you guys. So... This is cool. It's exciting to bring this kind of news to you guys, especially being a LEGO employee. So I want to hear your thoughts. What are your thoughts of this set? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you don't mind, I got to go right now. I'm going to, you know, I'm about to do a live stream on YouTube. So when this video goes up, it'll be after the live stream. So hopefully you guys tuned into that. We talked about pre-Comic-Con stuff, but I will try to get another, you know, couple videos up over the next few days before the big day on Friday. So thank you guys so much for watching my channel. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let me know what you think of these bricks down below. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Peace.